Warning. The following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Additionally, some jokes in this series may contain themes or language that might be offensive. This is not intentional and should be taken with the idea that this is for entertainment and not to offend. Hello, this is Water Elemental. And this is What Do. And... We're playing Doki Doki Literature Club. Such an adorable game, just look at it. We're taking a break from Dr. Naropa <laughs> for this recording session because someone decided it'd be a good idea to play another waifu game. He hasn't mm-hmm. told me nothing. So pretext, I downloaded this game and I saw the da- tag of psychological horror. That is all I know. And I've played this game and I originally recommended it because it's such a wonderful experience that I had to share. Is it going to be as spooky as my little skeleton <laughs> guy? Just look at him, just... Oh, that's adorable. I haven't seen that before. He's got tiny little feet. Let me see, let me see, let me see. You play with hey. him. You play with You play with our little baby. We call so, him Frank. Because he's like a wiener dog. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try my best. We really don't do video stuff, so we're going to be looking at the screen mm-hmm. while we're playing this. Uh, please enter your name. All right. Well, it's up, it's up to you. Who are you? All right, we're going personal personal name here. All righty, here we go. And I'll start off. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from distance, waving her arms in the air like she totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. The girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today but just kind of work out because you've known each other for so long. (laughs) We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle from front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up with me. Do the little Lynx idle animation. (sighs) 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 (laughs) Ha! (laughs) Ha! (laughs) Hey! Hey! (laughs) <laughs> Why away. you go so fast? <laughs> well, I'm moving the microphone up. Hold on, because I have a feeling we're bringing the. Uh, I'm a senpai. <laughs> voice, so I'm gonna need the whispers. All right, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. <laughs> I overslept I, again. Oh wait, no, that's, that's me. You. I overslept again. <laughs> but I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> huh. Hey, how you say that you were thinking about ignoring me, bitch? Look at that pouty face. Aww. That's mean, Justin. Sorry, man. <laughs> well, people stare at you for acting weird and don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Bok. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Fine, fine. <laughs> but you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Siori. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent fake laugh. That's what I'm known for. And we draw near. The streets become incredibly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Justin, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. I, I did? I'm sure it's possible <laughs> that in in one of our many conversations, where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about, God damn it, the cat's like, can you grab her? <laughs> Absolutely. Live like, recording! Hmm. <laughs> Forgot that I have an animal that I got. Come on in. Okay. <laughs> Come on in, kitty. She can do voices. See? Excellent, excellent. She'll fit right <laughs> in. Siori was likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting on my average while spending my free time on games and anime. They know their audience well. What? Like, (laughs) how how does she, how does she know? (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. I was talking about how worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. They really know their audience. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I, and I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. No, it's, 
Becoming a... Neat. <laughs> Just becoming like a stern, neat. like, no. I don't want you becoming... Neat. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. See, I... See, this is the problem with me knowing a little bit. I don't want oh. to trust her. <laughs> oh, it's fine. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> I'll look right. at a few clubs and uh, if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you'll, me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. This much. <laughs> yeah, that's a little. You're honest with it. Yay! Yatta! Yatta! <laughs> Why don't you let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Uh, more than that, I'm surprised I even let myself really <laughs> relent to her. Oh, just the the never ending positivity. It's hard to hard to keep back. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to go ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. Murder all of him. <laughs> School day is an ordinary as ever, mm -hmm. and it's over before I know it. Oh man, we're not even in that seat by the window in the corner. Let's let's <laughs> let's do our let's do our pose in the corner. What? <laughs> Why do all the girls like me, but I have no self-esteem? After I pick up my things, I start bla uh, blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Siori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Siori. Siori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around to realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Why are you watching me? I might be stalking you a little. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm su I'm impressed. You're welcome. <laughs> you don't need to wait up for me if I'm going to make uh, you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Why is she blushing? You know. Know what? Well, you could come to my club. Mm -hmm. I've read a lot of hentai. I think I know where <laughs> this is going. <laughs> Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> hey, meanie. I know. I think that's a more appropriate response. Siori is vice president of the Literature Club. Hence the name. The Doki Doki, Doki Literature, Literature Club. Doki Doki is like a sound effect, like a cutesy sound effect for a heartbeat. Just as a heads up. Not that I want was ever aware she was interested in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one uh, to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of vice prince president, vice principal. She's now the <laughs> vice principal. Wow, that, this escalated quickly. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Bitch, I want to see some boobies. <laughs> then boy, do I have a treat for you. Why do you care so much anyways? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. Just come with me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if Siri is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning to have planned all of this out. I let out a long sigh. <laughs> we are going different directions with that. I like yours better. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I did Lol random. <laughs> Lol random. <laughs> I dejectedly follow Siriki across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used to third-year classes and activities. Siori is full of energy, swings open the classroom door, and karate chops! Everyone, the new member's here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Uh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. 
It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? Who brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere! Ah, Justin. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. She's got like robo... They all have like robo eyes. I don't know if it's like anime eyes. Yeah. Maybe... I guess I didn't notice before. It's just that it's, it's not like the normal thing. stylistic thing. This is true. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. A hey! scream! <laughs> it turns out this was the right club to join after all. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki. Natsuki. Harumph. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She also is the one who made cupcakes, according to Sarori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sorry, says it quietly in my ear, <laughs> then turns back towards the other girls. I like it better how I said it. It's just like, you can just ignore her. She's just a dumb cunt, please. She's a first year. No one listens to her. <laughs> We just Don't start touch listening my boyfriend. Year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. Doesn't look like it. And this <laughs> is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Justin. Monica saw it, smiles sweetly. <laughs> oh, she's doing a little tilt thing. Oh, oh man, I need, I need, oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> we know, do know each other. Well, we really talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, red hair, popular, main <laughs> character. <laughs> Basically, complete, uh, completely out of my league. Ah. She's more of a bronze. I'm more <laughs> of a platinum. Get on my level. I mean. <laughs> oh god. So having her smile at me is so generously feels a little. Uh, you too, Monica. <laughs> Not good with the you too phrase. Come sit down, Justin. We just made room for you at the table, so you can sit down next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey. Oh, wait, no, I, I'm doing, like, a Stuart from, uh, what is it, Matt TV. Okay. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. <laughs> That's a callback. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged in the form of a table. Where? Is it that one? <laughs> uh, it's, it's off screen, it's off screen. As Siori mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one next to Siori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. She's feeling awkward, and I take a seat next to Siori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Ta da! Oh! Yeah. I don't think I was supposed to. Oh, I, I think it works well though, because we're like, <laughs> oh shit! Look at these cupcakes. Cupcakes! Cupcakes! A whoosh. Uh, Natsuki lifts the foil, and the trail reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes that actually look like little cats. Mm. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute. I had no idea you were so good at make at baking, Natsuki. Well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's even got the anime the, fang going too. Got the little fang going. Just hurry and take one. <laughs> Siri grabs the first one, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. Siri talks with her mouth full, and she's already managed to <laughs> get I'm ruining everything. Out of the cake, just <laughs> scared. Just, table, fuck. I turn okay. the cupcake around in my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. It's round, so it doesn't have angles, you <laughs> dumbass. Unless it's a square cupcake, and then you're just doing it wrong. Ah, uh, but it has the cat ears. Mm. 
Victory! Decoration, decorations do not count towards the cupcake. <laughs> Hitsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. If she was waiting for me to take a bite, I finally bite down. Oh! <laughs> the icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder what she made herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, why are you thanking me? It's not like I put my hair inside of it so you could eat it alive. <laughs> Baka. Baka. I haven't heard... Haven't I heard that somewhere before? I'll make them for you or anything. Eh? I thought you were technically dead. Suri said... Well, maybe! But you're... It's not for you, 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 you dummy! All right, all right. <laughs> we have found the Sundere in this little ensemble. I gave up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismissed the conversation. Bye. Yuri returned to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a key tub in front of each of us, and setting down the teapot next to the carrying tray. And it burns my face! <laughs> Here, enjoy this tea! <sighs> you keep a whole tea Oh, whoops, my bad. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. Why, w why would it bother you that there's a tea set? It's only a tea set. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? All over your face? <laughs> uh, uh, I guess. <laughs> so, that broke something. And don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. With her tea set? And that's not. Insulted Yuri looks away. And so, I meant that you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. Come on, how do you fuck this up? You're at the literature club. Say you like reading, just do it. I love reading comic books and anime. <laughs> I mean manga, I mean shonen, I mean boobies. <laughs> I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiled to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Well, I was roped into it after guilt trip by a friend, because, you know, I have no personality yet. Well, speak um, of the devil... I was afraid of this question. Because he's on the exact same page. Some... <laughs> don't bug don't bu bu me. Sometimes uh, tells something tells me I don't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Siori. <laughs> well, I uh, haven't joined a club yet, and Siori really happy here, so... Oh, that's okay. Don't be embarrassed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, we'll make sure that you feel right at home, okay? Yes, that'd be great. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Even me? Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be, be a board member of any of the major clubs, or a CEO of the school. <laughs> yeah, that's a, it's a anime thing. I'm sure it would happen. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? I was the leader of my own personal uh, debate club. <laughs> well, you know, I was a master of it. To, to be, be honest, honest, I can't stand all the pol politics around the major clubs. Damn, she's so cute, I didn't realize I, I, I'm not Monica. <laughs> yeah, this is fair. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Why debate events? Yeah. Um, cause when you're in, I was in speech and debate, um, in high school. No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and there are events, you go, do, you go to different schools and then you would like debate a certain, like a certain number of rounds against other like duo partners oh. and whatnot, or individual in some cases. It depends on like the format you were doing. And what is the weapon of choice? Gladiator combat or more of a uh, freestyle? <laughs> I don't know because I didn't do the debate part. I did the speech part. And I did a dramatic reading of the Killing Joke comic book. And it was, like, amongst all of these other dramatic readings of, here's, like, a, a cancer story, here's a story of someone getting bullied, and I'm like, you know what would fit well in here? <laughs> Fucking Batman. And it was awesome. And then everybody's just like, you're nothing. not taking this seriously. <laughs> no, it's my senior year. She didn't care. I avoid it. Neither did we. <laughs> And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. <gasps> oh. Monica really is a great leader. 
Oh, that, no, that was you. Okay. Okay, Yuri also nods in agreement. <laughs> then I'm surprised there aren't more people in your club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all that effort into starting something brand new. Like Doki Doki Literature Club. Hey! Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. That's what she said. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow, uh, grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Hi! Yeah! We'll do our best. I haven't fully decided on the voice <laughs> there yet. You know it! <laughs> I gotta remember the voice, because it's like, it's, it has wind up to it, because you have to do the breathy voice, so I can't just be like, <laughs> you know. You have, to, <gasps> you know you have to start breathing before the sounds come out. Everyone ecstatically agrees and starts taking off their tops. <laughs> Damn it, why does this keep happening? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. My Blood dick. Letting. That too. <laughs> Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why we're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up their level of enthusiasm about books. So Justin, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read in the past few years, I really don't have a good idea of what answering that. <laughs> manga. I read manga. Oh, guess what? I muttered quietly to myself, half jokingly. Well, <laughs> Natsuki's head suddenly pops up. She looks like she wants to say something, but keeps quiet. Mm, she was holding back. Intrigue. <laughs> she was holding back a subtle fucking weeb. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what? That's fair. I think that would fit. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyways, how about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the room of her teacup with her finger. Oh. My, my favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Have you heard this one called Twilight? <laughs> easy joke, easy joke. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her readings. You're not far from the mark. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up as she finds her confident in the world of books, not people. Scene. <laughs> but you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Can we just, <laughs> can we just zoom in on throw you for a loop and then shake the screen as though it's some sort of foreshadowing. Oh, there's no foreshadowing here. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Shake the screen violently. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I read horror book once. <laughs> I read I read horror book once. <laughs> I am a good reader. <laughs> I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yuri, might as well have a, a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expect, expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to a whole, to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, oh, I hate horror! Now, see, it's... Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind! That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Remember the heights of March? <laughs> it looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it aloud! I give it back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Siri, so str. St 
settles up next to behind Itsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I assume that's a word. I'm not cute! Natsuki. As she does, like, the anime, like, the ah! eyes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, sometimes. Why do you care? I think it's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? Uh, no. no. <laughs> Natsuki averts her eyes. Well, you, you wouldn't like them. Ah, not very confident writer, are you? Not like I can... <laughs> I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. It must be willing to... You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest regions of your heart. Love. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Ellipses. What have I done? I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I want to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. <laughs> My bad. No, it's all good. I was just—I was waiting for um, you to go. <laughs> <laughs> Okay! Yeah. I'm dying! Sure. <laughs> I have an idea, everyone. What is it? Everyone, I have an idea. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. Can I, can I enter a poem? <laughs> Maybe. That way everyone is even. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Justin? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Yeah, what's that? I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club... There's a plot twist. <laughs> I never learned how to read! <laughs> I bluntly came forth in what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join the club. Siri said I ha may have convinced me to stop by, but I never said anything about the decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I oh, lost shit. my train of thought. Toot, toot. Awful girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But I'm sorry, though. I thought. Harumph! <laughs> Justin. What? Oh. <laughs> hey. Justin, what the fuck? You're embarrassing me in front of all my friends. I thought I was your friend. <laughs> you, you all, I am defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make it clear how to decision with like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Yeah, it's not a bad price to pay. <laughs> you have decided. <laughs> decided. By yawning. Okay, I've made a decision then. <laughs> I'll join the literature that's club. A reasonable, that's a reasonable decision. I could, I could do this. Or I could destroy myself yeah. and everything I love. One by one, the girls light up. Saying tos velanos! I am now assuming this form. What does Harbinger say in Mass Effect? Oh, uh, what is now, it? Now assuming control. Assuming direct control. <laughs> oh, God! Yes, I'm so happy! God! <laughs> I love I'm you! I'm so happy! Sorry, he wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. You really did scare me for a moment. If you're really just gonna kill for cookies, I was super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Just sign this and make sure that all of your decisions are concluded by the end of the story. <laughs> or what is the line from Persona 3? Um, Take a... I totally forget. It's... Play the clip. Yeah, clip here. Yep, that's the one. Yep, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep, yeah, exactly that. Ah, oh, thank goodness, I guess. Okay, everyone. 
I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring him to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Justin, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Hee 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 hee. Yeah. Little does she know I'm already planning an interpretive dance recital. <laughs> I can really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills. I already you didn't know I could do poems with my body. <laughs> <laughs> I already felt the anxiety welling up inside me. <laughs> Meanwhile, that girl continues to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuka clean up their food. Hey, Justin, since we just arrived here, or just since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. See, I never walked home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, I might as well. Yay! With that, the two of us departed the club room and made our way to my home. <laughs> to your home? Oh, this has escalated very quickly. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth uh, between the four girls. Siori. Mm -hmm. Natsuki. Yuri. And of course, course, Monica. The Golden Girls. <laughs> so many choices, so little time. Will I really be happy spending every day in a school literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right. I'll need to make most of my circumstances, and I'm sure a good fortune will be to find out. And I guess to start writing the poem tonight. Alrighty. Come and knock at our door. <laughs> oh, yeah, I actually get yes. to write something. Okay. Just double checking. Double checking. Okay. So, it's a little mini game. Here's how it works. Um, All right, I'm going to save. Gonna okay. Save. Good thinking, good thinking. It's just quick as that. Um, how, how it works is you're not, like, putting together, Damn like, it. an actual full poem. You're choosing words. Um to aim for one of those three girls. Okay. So, it's... Uh, one of those girls is missing, though. Um, uh, doesn't have a route. Really? It's kind of a bummer. Huh. I, I don't know I'm, what I'm to tell of, you. I'm kind of digging the, uh... The, the, the sprites are awesome. Oh my god, they're I'm, so cute. I'm going... And how they just kind of, like, hop about... I'm going to get, like, pins of those in one way or another, and I, I don't know I think people at NDK will probably sell those at some point. Um, the... The developer has a store. It's not open yet, though. They, oh. What's it has? It's all it is is a screen that says has those and says, "Hey, we're gonna open up in a few days." But it's been on that for quite some time. So I just hope they open they, soon. Uh, I would love that merch. I did notice that they had the ten dollar like bonus bonus pack. Mm -hmm. I was actually gonna buy that to you know support the game. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna I probably after after the this run, I'm probably gonna pick it up because it's like the soundtrack mm -hmm. and stuff. So I know for for me, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. S I am going to support just because it's free, and I'm just gonna get the merch and go with it that way. Cause well, then I don't. Then I want that stuff. I'm kind of loving the song. It's poppy. Oh, it's, it's hip. It's poppy. But uh, I think we're gonna save this and go to the next uh, episode here. Sounds like an excellent plan. Next time on Doki Doki Literature Club, we'll make poetry. <laughs> don't insult me. That's what I do.